Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Time for another first impressions video out of the winter 2020 season. And the anime in question is called Darwin's Game. And in matter of fact, the pilot episode is 47 minutes long. So they decided to bundle up the first two episodes together. And I believe they did this to basically um, flush out a bit more of the setting, the story and the characters because the very beginning of the episode starts out very abruptly and a lot of things about the world and how it basically functions out are not really explained. Even after uh, the first episode, the 47 minutes, you still have a lot of questions like, well, how is this exactly working and how this is possible and yada, yada, yada. So there's a lot of questions and mysteries about what is exactly going on here. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot of those things explained as the story goes on and especially in the second episode. And the total episode count is also 11 instead of 12 or 13, which are more normal things uh, in Japan so this insinuates that they basically just wanted to bundle them together but the total episode count was actually originally that 12. So what is actually the premise of Darwin's game? So our main character is called Sudo Kaname who is basically invited to play this new free-to-play game known as Darwin's Game, which comes from Charles Darwin and the philosophy of Darwinism, survival of the fittest, as legendly uh, Charles quoted, it's not the strongest who will survive, it's not the most intelligent who will survive, it's the ones that are most adaptive to change. I love that quote, by the way. And I'm obviously a big fan of Darwinism as a philosophy. And so it's really right up on my alley as series go. And it kind of reminds me a bit of Mirai Nikki, the future diary anime, in the sense that there's phones and everybody's joining to this kill game, basically, uh, against each other. But in this one, I guess there's no limitation to so you can, like, download the game. And it's just not, like, chosen people. And in Future Diary, in the very beginning episode, they explain a lot more about, like, what's going on and what are the rules. In this one, it's a lot more vague, and some of the other players hold information about the game that the main character doesn't know. And I guess he will start to learn more about how things are working as the episodes go on. And... So I do, I do like the premise and the setting a lot, and it definitely needed that, uh, you know, twin episode merger because, as I said in the beginning, everything moves out pretty fast. One of the classmates of Kaname is basically dying, and then one of the other classmates is like saying, "Well, what happened to him? Why is he dead?" And then he's asking this and this and that question. And, you know, and then Kaname basically gets absorbed into this game and then meets this other, um, the best girl, main lead um, player of the game, um, Shuka, or Karina, whatever name you want to use. And she is the waifu, basically, and, well, they will be fighting. And, well, I will reveal the situation, what happens there, but kind of interesting development, let's just say that. And initially, I wasn't really fond of the character designs of the anime but i think they kind of grew on me as i i think the promo shot kind of looks a bit weird the one that i also used on my thumbnail um artistically i think it looks pretty good um the blood the animations i think it's decent i think uh nexus which i'm not too familiar as a studio i think they did a good job i yes you know me i'm not really kidding that much in plays to the information and more about the the bigger meat on the bone, which is the characters and the story. And right now, like, we don't know exactly what are the rules of the game. Obviously, it's called Darwin's game, so everybody's out to kill each other. And then there's obviously, when Darwin came up with the idea of natural selection, but then there's also kin selection, which means that um, there might have been groups that came together and survived together by, you know, that's human, that's how human societies work. Everybody pulls in their... Uh, innate abilities and then people survive together and obviously at least it was like that maybe a couple of 500 years ago but now it's not so much because of the AIs and other machines that kind of have replaced certain people and their talents which they may have had 
So Darwin's game is, um, I'm hoping it will be going into more psychological layers than it currently is. Right now, it was very action-packed and there was not that much of like storytelling. I mean, certain aspects about the world were explained, like it's normal world and but how exactly people are able to turn invisible and what like exactly these abilities and commands are in the phone, what can they do? Um, we want to learn more, obviously, and I believe those are going to be revealed in the upcoming episodes. Musically, not much to be desired, really, and the characters seem quite basic so far, um, but the designs are a bit different from your... Um, basic cliches, I would argue, but um, it's probably going to be, um, I think it's going to get better as time goes on. That's just, that's the argument that I would be basically giving out about Darwin's game. I like the premise. It's been used before, but it's not totally, um, it has, it's bringing like some elements in. And also the genre is not like overkill. It's not like Isekai that we're seeing, oh, one murder fucking phone game anime every fucking season. It's quite rare still. So uh, if you like Future Diary, you probably will like this one too. And I will be interested to see the developments. And obviously because it's 11 minutes long, I will be definitely watching this through whatever I like it or not. I don't know if there's going to be another season because I haven't read the manga. I'm not familiar with the... Uh, source materials, so we, we remains to be um, seen. Yeah, actually, I don't think the manga has even like ended up apparently. But yeah, um, definitely recommending it. It's probably the best anime that I watched out of the ones that I talked about so far. I mean, Pet is pretty okay too. But yeah, it was decent, and I definitely will be watching more. Stay tuned for more reviews and first impressions in the upcoming days. I will see you guys next time. Guys, 